Hi guys, well as you can see I'm not on the boat, uh, I'm up in Athens for a couple of days and um, yeah, new look. Uh, but I wanted to just uh, put a quick uh, update together to say thank you ever so much to Alex, Alex Brennan, uh, who uh, sent me a coffee donation last week, which was much appreciated. So thank you Alex, it's the first one I've had. Um, this boat is going really well. We're actually in the water now, so we're you're a couple of weeks behind, uh, and I'm uh, editing uh, next week's video as we as we sit here. So uh, yeah, if you want to see it early, hop over onto Patreon or Kofi, and uh, yeah, become a member. Um, once this boat's finished, um, I'm looking for the next thing to do. So uh, if uh, you have anything in particular that you guys want to see, if you want to just drop some comments down below, that would be much appreciated. And I uh, hope you enjoy this week's video. So this is what I've been doing with the prop shaft. You can see here how far it's gone. Uh, I've drilled out the grub screw. And then I've put a socket in here. I'm tightening these nuts up now to try and press it out and we're about halfway I think uh, and it's taking forever but uh, yeah, we called it a day at one o'clock yesterday because it was just getting too hot so I'm, uh, I'm going to carry on today and just uh, keep tightening it up um, cameras batteries are not holding up so I'm doing my best, guys, but uh, it's a bit bitty on footage, I'm afraid. So, well, this is the last major job to do because I need to get this um, stone gland off and replaced. And once I've done that, then I'm happy. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. Well, it's 42 degrees out, it's uh, 12.30 and you can just about see the Woodruff key now. So I've just put a larger socket in and I've got some longer bolts here, just going to get these. So hopefully this will be the final bit to get this uh, prop shaft out. It's been a real chore. Uh, thankfully these fans are making all the difference in here it's at least two or three degrees cooler than it is outside and with the fans running it's actually manageable so I'm uh, cracking on through and we'll get this done well at last I think it's done Let's see if I move that the Woodruff key is coming out look here there we go, one Woodruff key, so that shaft is now off, there we go, oh, that took some doing, right, so that means that I can take this off now, and get a fresh one of those, while I'm at it, get a new um, nut for the pop shaft propeller. There we go. I could probably clean that up. It doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to get a new one anyway. And then it's all sorted. So, oh, what a fact that was. Right, I'm going to get these bolts out, but that's that's it. I think that's a straightforward, um, straightforward job, is that? Okay. So relieved. Okay, so I've just picked up the shaft seal to replace this one, and without a word of a lie, it was. 192 pounds so 192 euros and 20 pence <sighs> this boat's starting to get expensive 
Well, a friend of mine's just come and picked up the sails to take them away and take a good look at. I've got a couple of spinnaker sails here, which is uh, useful to know. Uh, spinnaker poles bust, but uh, otherwise. So, um, I thought I'd crack on today with the hull. So I've done a, a coarse cut, and I've done a medium cut with wax to the middle here. And I think you can actually see where I stopped. It's, uh, it's coming up and it's actually quite shiny. Don't know if you can see it on the camera. But it's actually looking quite nice. So, if the rest of the hole comes up like that, I'll be happy. There's a, a line that's missing across the top. Obviously there's this line here. I'm leaving it on until I've got the anti-foul on, so that I've got a water line to work with. Uh, and then I'll take that off and redo it. So, uh, yeah, this has taken me a couple of hours this morning. I've got the other quarter to do on this side, or well, just over a quarter. Uh, but yeah, there is definitely a line there, isn't there? You can see where I have been. That's cool. Finally got the sides polished. Uh, I mean, they'll never be perfect. She's an old charter boat, so there are dings and scratches and the places where the gel cuts burn through. But I think that looks a heck of a lot better than it did. So, jobs left to do. I've got one through hull left to do. Obviously, the keel needs sorting, and then it's primer and anti foul. And then I've got to work out how to get all this. There's 70 metres of chain here and I've got a 20 kilo delta anchor. And I've got to work out how to actually adapt the chain locker for it all to fit and actually drop properly. Doesn't that look a lot better? Nice little pinstripe. So, other side to do. And then we're on to anti -foul. So. The minor victory. So we've got the uh, bootstraps on. She's actually looking quite pretty now. So I think this one's not quite. I'm not quite as happy with it. It's not quite as straight as I would like. But uh, it was blowing a hooli when I put it on, which is probably a mistake. But it doesn't look too bad, and it does line up with the other side. So. Yeah. Happy. Happy so far. Right. Decision on the anchor. I don't think I'm going to use this windlass. And I don't think I'm going to use the chain either. I think what I'm going to do is put a, uh, a long rope in there. Maybe about 10 metres of chain, just to give it a bit of weight on the seabed. But um, the chain lock is just too small. And I think that's what they had anyway. So we'll give that a go, I think. I'm going to do a bit more research. Good morning guys. Okay, so with the sides now polished, 
and everything done. I've got one through full left to do, and uh, then we're ready for anti foul. So I thought while I was waiting for shops to open and things like that, so I'm getting the through hole, I would take a look at the deck and what we can do here. So uh, I'm going to see about polishing this side, taking this strip off, or what have you. Ooh, look at this. We've not quite made it, but he's got further than he did last time. So, yeah. I think he's, uh, here we go. Oh dear. There's something to tell him, I think. Anyway, I'll on. Right, so, yeah, so I thought I'd send this side, get this uh, blue strip off, and then I can cut and polish all this lot, uh, and then I can put the blue strip back and work from there. So, good morning's work before it gets too hot. go. Nice blue pinstripe. That looked nice from a distance. So, got the other side to do yet, but it's starting to get really warm. So I'm going to wait till the afternoon when the sun's angle has changed. So, let's, uh, let's see the difference though. Yeah. What a difference that's made. So, yeah. We're getting there. That's the last through hole fitting in. So, I'm going to start taping up now and then we can start priming. How about that?
No, well, not as easy to see progress today. Uh, you can see the blue stripe on the coach roof, which is looking quite nice. This blue stripe here, no, it's coming off just there. Can you see? I'm going to have to just sort that. So, and then uh, white epoxy primer, one coat. So, one tin has done the entire hole. So I need to get another tin and it's Sunday tomorrow so that's not going to be possible. So I have to wait till Monday. So but that's uh, looking pretty spiffy I think. I've got this stripe to do on the top of the coach roof this side. I need to polish it first. So uh, that's tomorrow's job. I've also got to get the, uh, the Greek Driscoss sign off here um, and uh, clean that up uh, and order some new ones. But yeah, not looking too terrible now. Starting to uh, take shape, I think. Okay, so final cut of primer is now on. And... Uh, that keel is looking really white, which is good. So, next job is going to be anti hole So I'm going to just give it half an hour just to uh, go off, and then uh, and they say that's going to be plenty. I'm just going to grab some breakfast, and then we'll come back and we'll anti -hole. Starting to come together, one cut of anti foul making all the difference, isn't it? So. Look at this beautiful, beautiful pony shrimp. Lot. Just covered, ready to go back in. And we're booked for a week tomorrow. So I've got basically seven days to finish what I want to do. Which is get the pinstripes back on. And start to tidy up the, uh, the cabin top. So I think we should be good.